Hey everyone, what's going on? So if you've locked yourself out of your system and cannot remember the password, do not worry. In this video, I'll show you a way you can remove or reset your password without restoring your system or losing any files. So make sure that you watch the full video and subscribe the channel if you find it helpful. So there's one way you can remove or reset your password without logging into your system is from the command prompt. Now how do we access a command prompt on a locked system? Well, we're going to do it by replacing this utility management button with the command prompt button. So for that, the first thing you have to do is restart your computer. If your system is already turned off, you do not need to restart it, just turn it on. Now while your system is booting, what you have to do is that you have to press and hold the power button until the system shuts down completely. Now once your system is completely shut down, press the power button and power it on again. Now the idea for force shutting down the system is to get this Windows Startup Repair page. So if you don't get this page on powering on, just force shut down again and try again until you get this page. Now as you can see here, we have two options. The one is to start the windows normally and the other is to launch the startup repair. This is what we're going to do. So just select the launch startup repair and press enter. So now you'll have this startup repair page and it once it's done searching it will ask you to restore the system but we're not going to restore the system so just click on cancel and then once it's done attempting the repair it may take a few minutes so be patient and once it's done you will get this page here with the errors. So just click on this drop down arrow and then it will expand the program errors and now at the bottom of the page you will see this text file so just open it and this will open our notepad so from here we can get access to our all our files so just click on this file and then click on open and then you can see that you have access to your file explorer now from here you can get access to all your drives as well so as you can see that we have all the drives in our computer here now from here select the file type as all files Now go to your main drive and then click on Windows and then here you need to look for System32. So once you find System32 just click on it and then here you need to look for Utilman which is the utility management. So it will be named as U-T-I-L-M-A-N and once you find it just right click on it and then click on rename and then just rename it to something else. So just add a number, any number. I'll just add one and then click on enter. So we have renamed this utilman to replace it with the CMD. So now what you have to do is you have to look for CMD. You'll find it in the same folder. So just scroll up and once you find CMD do the same just right click on it and rename it to utilman. U-T-I-L-M-A-N. And that's it click on enter now you will have successfully removed the utility management with the command prompt now just click on cancel and just X out of everything and when it asks you to start the windows normally and exit the repair just click on yes and it will restart your system So now once the system restarts, if we click on this utility management button, you see that it has been replaced with the command prompt. And now from here we can reset or remove our password. So for that, the first thing we have to do is we have to list all the users. So just type net net space user and then hit enter. Now again type net space user space username that you need to change the password for. So my username is PC and if you are using any symbol on your username just add it in quotation marks then space star or asterisk key and then press enter. Now it will ask you to retype a new password but it's better to leave it blank and set your password from the settings once you log in because if you type any password here it will not show up because of security reasons so just leave it blank and press enter then again enter and that's it now you have successfully removed the password from your system now if we go ahead and click on this as you can see that we can simply log into our system without any password 
Now make sure to rename the CMD and utilman file to its original name so that you can access it. So that's it for today's video. That's how you can access your computer without the password. So if you find the video helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel. I'll see you in my next video.